<laughs> Yay! The star! <laughs> Hello, YouTube! <laughs> Brandon's so excited. We're doing his Q&A right now. <laughs> I am so dead. I'm gonna stay to the side, but Brandon is gonna be the star of today. And we got so many questions from you guys. So Brandon's really excited just to share it. Very honest. I finally get the camera. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. He's excited. I gave him a little margarita. She gave him margarita to loosen me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm we're going to start. Brandon is going to be brutally honest with y'all and it's going to be funny. So here we go. Nice. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going to start it off light I for you. Locked, I, <laughs> I get to pick the questions that you guys sent me. So here we go. Okay, first question. <laughs> We're gonna start off light. Where's the dog, Brandon? Who asked that? <laughs> Isaac. Who, who asked that? Her asset isn't my friend anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the dog is uh, right down the street at the Humane Society, <laughs> so uh, where it belongs. Soon to be in our house. Um, for all those like animal lovers out there, I'm not the biggest dog fan. I think dogs. You know, are great uh, when they're with somebody else. I could just visit them momentarily, yeah. but not permanently. Here. Yeah. So, dogs at the main. The dog's society, coming though, right? And the dog, when she gets the dog, it'll go back to the main society. Tell everyone when we're getting the dog, though. Um, never. No, like soon. No, we're getting the dog. Unfortunately, so sad. Uh, in the next like month, I told yes! her when she was getting the dog. So That's I gotta right. Stay true to my word. Yeah, you do. Okay, next question. Does Brandon get any gifts from the endorsements and giveaways? You do, LOL. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I just got a car. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand. It's called Not Maserati. like a folk. Oh, I was um, like, what are you telling me? Yeah, people? Maserati. Um, that, that was kind of like on the you know, lower end. But, uh, you <laughs> He's know, lucky lately, he has me. Lately, <laughs> uh, you know, with all the followers coming from Nikki, you know, I don't really have the biggest following. Uh, so my... <laughs> Free stuff has been like a uh, like acne scrub. Uh, towels. I got towels from the Bali market. Uh, I got a watch. Car stuff. Um, I got car stuff. Yeah, I like the car stuff. I got my car detailed. I got new window tint. I mean, it doesn't do a lot on a you know Honda Accord, but you know it is what it is. Yeah, you love that. You know, stuff. balling on a budget. So I just I love getting free stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I love free stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anything free, I'm in. Like I'm the guy who goes, you know, and like gets the free samples at Costco. It's free. <laughs> okay, next we got a lot of girl questions about boys. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. How do you recommend keeping a long term relationship exciting? Uh, I'd say like never stop dating. Uh, like me and Nicole, like we're always finding something, you know, that we love to do that we've never tried. So we'll go to a new travel destination, mm -hmm. but that's a more like expensive option. Or like we'll go try a new restaurant or we'll go try a new activity. So yeah, that's what we do. Just yeah. keep it spicy. And then also, uh, you just, you know, once you're married, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, you keep things. Oh my Spicy. gosh. I, uh, I'm sure there will be a lot I, of that in this about, video. About, uh, this is explicit about concept. Four, four minutes ago. Brandon, stop! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm doing So Brandon, next question. How do you get a guy to make the first move? Uh, this might offend people, but you know, honestly, I feel like guys like the chase. I know I do. So <laughs> yeah. if a girl makes the first move, it's just kind of like, well, game over and <laughs> yeah, so yeah, i don't know i think it's like you know letting the guy make the first move to ask you out plus it's yeah, just way good. more like, meaningful too if the guy comes and you know wants to take you out for coffee yes guys like i if you're if you're a guy watching this like please don't take your girl to coffee for the first day like <laughs> i mean what is that like like beginner class i mean <laughs> take your girl to something fun yeah where it's not like you're sitting across from each other you know so how long have you like you know been a Christian <laughs> for? Or like how long have you like knew oh, that like that's what you wanted to do? No, <laughs> cut the crap. Go to a freaking baseball game. Yeah, or we did. Go skydiving or go get like super good food. Don't go to a coffee shop. That's good. Recommendations for dating a guy who has goals and ambition but no follow through. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Uh, scrap it <laughs> and run because what he uh, said. 
That's called a loser because he's all tall. <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted to make it happen. He needs to make it happen. You want a guy who's gonna finish. You don't want a guy who yeah. you know is living in his mom's basement and <laughs> tells people that he's gonna be a CEO. That's yeah. not gonna happen. That's so true. Is that is that not true? No, that that's so true? true. I just I felt passionate about that one. Like, <laughs> come on. I know. That's all right. What are you doing over there? I'm just kidding. Blend okay. <laughs> How do I get a guy's attention without being awkward or annoying, LOL? <laughs> I would say like the most attractive thing is somebody that like doesn't need you. Oh, and okay. so when you're just like running after whatever you're passionate about, you know, whether that be you know, nursing or law or being a doctor, you know, being the yeah. next astronaut, you know, whatever that may be, that you're just running so passionately about that and like you don't need anybody else that I feel like that's the best way to get somebody's attention because nine out of 10 people are waving their hands or trying to do something to get somebody's attention where mm -hmm. the person that's gonna stand out is the person that's not like everybody else who's doing that thing where they're just a little bit different and that's what makes someone attractive. That's so good. <laughs> you get so distracted, I swear I'm dead. <laughs> New Post Malone's so good. Favorite type of outfit Nicole wears? Comfy clothes, dressed up, etc. Anything tight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, that's so I true didn't though. I have to think about that. <laughs> Whenever I wear leggings, he's like, you look so good today. I'm like, it's just because I have tight clothes on. <laughs> Anyways, what are you, what were you gonna say? Uh, I would say like for you, I love when you wear business clothes. You know, like a suit jacket and you know, like high heels. And, mm -hmm. You know, like because yeah. you're such an entrepreneur that like you really embody that, and you're a hustler, and so mm -hmm. it's it's cool to see you know you when you're in business mode. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, babe. Yep. <laughs> Made your brownie points. <laughs> Okay, did you always have an idea of the qualities you were looking for in a wife before meeting Nicole? For sure, yeah. Um, so my best friend should I, I remember we would always talk about what we wanted, like in a, in a wife. And I made this like a long list. And Nicole is definitely, you know, has a lot of those items, but it's interesting how like what I thought was you know, the be the best version of what I needed and what God, you know, had were two different things. And I'm mm. so glad that God brought Nicole into my life because she's everything I'm not and makes me a better person. Mm -hmm. And so I think the things I love about Nicole is that, you know, she just is, is stunning. I mean, you guys see her on Instagram, so but sweet. then she is so strong in her faith and pushes me in her faith. And I think when we kind of think of items on our own list, we think of, you know, materialistic or physical items, but like God thought so much more about like the heart. And so I'm so glad that not only I got a beautiful girl, but I got a beautiful girl like on the inside too, that, you know, grows me into a better person. Cause the last thing I'd want is just someone who's, you know, really good looking on the outside, but then, you know, kind of terrible on the inside. Yeah. That's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, next question. What is your fave, least favorite thing about being married to a social media influencer? I would say that, you know, anybody and everybody has, you know, a opportunity to speak into, you know, Nicole's life. Now, whether she listens to that, that's a whole different conversation, but everyone has the opportunity to DM her or respond to her and why, you know, a lot of the comments that come back are really good and encourage her and, you know, tell her how, you know, much they love her, her blog or Instagram or whatever. You know, there are people who personally, you know, just come at her and tell her horrible things that nobody should ever tell anybody. Like, you know, people telling her that she's, you know, super fake or super ugly or super fat. And it's, it's just so hurtful. And so I think as a husband, you know, having to tend to her emotions, I mean, that, that's, 
that's a lot of work and that can be you know draining at the beginning when you know she's like oh my gosh you know this girl just told me i'm i'm you know fat or this girl just told me i'm you know what do you, do you think i and it's like no and so it took so much encouragement and telling her like don't listen to those people and so it's gotten better but i would say like that's the hardest part mm -hmm. but the coolest part though is that we'll be walking down the street and you know i'll just be going about my daily life and some girl <laughs> will come up and be like oh my gosh nikki i have literally been following you for like three years and like i just love your freaking instagram and like so i just think like oh my gosh like i cannot believe i'm meeting you really can you take a picture sure that's what i'm here for <laughs> yeah. sign me up that is so, so funny. So I'm pretty much Nikki's personal photographer. No, uh, and no. And thank you, Megan Holmberg, for taking that over. And if <laughs> yeah. anybody's watching this and they want to be Nikki's photographer, anybody particularly in the Scottsdale area that feels called oh to take my pictures, goodness. please send her a DM because oh, I hate We her have pictures. Megan Holmberg. Okay? Okay. Megan, you're the best. Yes. Okay, so this is the last question we're going to do because I think we're running out of time. Um, so here it is. How is flight training going? And what does your day-to-day -day pilot prep include? So right now, uh, we came down two months early so I could just knock out all the ground school, which is just the written, you know, online stuff uh, before I start flying. Uh, but luckily, my first day at church, I met a buddy who is a pilot mm -hmm. in training. And so I've been going up with him, which is great because I can kind of apply what I've been learning in the books. So I'm almost done with the books, and then I'll start flight training March 4th. First week is takeoffs and landings. Oh my Nicole goodness. said that she was dying to come with. Yeah, so right. Yeah, yeah for sure. First flight and just yeah. kind of see what happens. Oh, I love uh, turbulence. Oh, she loves turbulence, <laughs> loves small plane, you know, anything Bye. crazy. So yeah, I'm excited to start March 4th. Let the games so begin. So proud of you. Thank you. Okay, so this is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Brandon, for being here today. You are very welcome, Nikki. <laughs> I would love nothing more than just offering quality advice to your followers. And I just encourage you guys, if you guys ever need any guy wow. advice, not that I know a lot, but you know, I did get Nikki, so I got some oh street goodness. cred. So send her a DM with any questions. And I guarantee she will answer. If you're having any guy problems or anything, yeah, you need somebody to speak in, her. I am. I'll give him a margarita before and, he does. Uh, <laughs> whoever asked about the dog, um, you you're no longer is. my friend. <laughs> oh, because wow. now Nikki's back on the dog track. No, I've been back on the dog track. So We're going to toy poodle. All right, peace out! <laughs> Whoa, he said Whoa. it. Whoa, okay, he said it. About to go watch The Bachelor. Yeah, we are. Okay, okay. Shorty mixing up the vodka with the liquor.